there was zero movement here at the state capitol on the abortion issue. But what we did see is how it likely looms very large in the political dialogue here in Virginia in the coming months. Since the summer when the U.S. Supreme Court sent the decision on abortion rights back to states. And the court has put this fight back in that building. Activists have turned their attention on Virginia's capital. Concerned abortion restrictions are around the corner. Treatment for abortion care is the business of the person seeking the abortion and their health care provider. Politicians have absolutely no business inserting themselves in those decisions. How threatened does my life have to be before I can make my own health care decisions? Meredith Hill from Richmond had two missed miscarriages. She says legal ambiguity threatens the health of women in vulnerable moments. The language used in restrictive abortion laws creates a gray area left up for interpretation, leading providers to be wary of what they can and can't do out of fear of being criminally prosecuted. While tying up loose ends on their special session Wednesday, no new abortion bills were sent to the General Assembly, as some had speculated. So I told everybody I wasn't sending down any legislation for the special session. Governor Glenn Youngkin says he's focused on limiting abortions in Virginia after 15 weeks of pregnancy. He's tasked a group of Republicans to work on a bill that can clear the split legislature in January. Post Roe v. Wade, the states are responsible for this, and I think that there is a place uh, where we can talk about a bill where where the child feels pain and that would be a really good place for us to land as a commonwealth. Republicans saying Wednesday that although specifics have not been laid out yet, they believe the coming months will give them time to work on an abortion bill that can get to Yunkin's desk. There's a lot of work to do on not only how to come up with a, a pain capable bill, but also how do we get our arms around helping mothers and children through the process. You know, a couple months ago when Roe v. Wade was overturned, I was five months pregnant. And just thinking about that process as an expectant mother, it was more profound than I could ever imagine. I think people are really gonna have to look, including legislators, introspectively on where they feel like life is. The General Assembly reconvenes here in Virginia in January, that's next year. That is the earliest that any new abortion legislation could come up for any kind of vote here in the Commonwealth. Democrats did can several bills that were aimed at stiffening abortion laws in Virginia earlier this year. That was before the Dobbs decision.